So hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video and today we're going to take a look at three shotgun builds to rule them all. The builds I'm about to show you are a great starting point for 99.999% of the shotguns that are in the game right now. Every time I get a new shotgun I will take a look at the stats and choose one of these builds and then take a look at the weaknesses and the strengths of the shotgun and tweak the build accordingly. So these builds are by no means perfect and I would encourage you to tweak them based on your personal preference and weaknesses and strengths of individual shotguns. So let's start it off with the crit build which personally I would recommend for shotguns that have at least 15% critical strike chance. So we're gonna start off by adding point blank for more damage, health chamber for multi-shot, blunderbuss for critical strike chance and ravage for critical damage multiplier. We're gonna follow it up with three elemental mod and for me most of the time it's gonna be charge shell and contagious spread for corrosive damage and incendiary code for heat damage. And we're gonna finish it off with blaze which is one of the strongest mods for shotguns. Now since shotguns do a lot of base damage you can easily swap out incendiary code for a utility mod like seeking fury. There are only four shotguns in the game right now that have at least 15% critical strike chance and those are strun wraith, boar prime and sancti tigris with 15% critical strike chance and Vagor Hack with 25% critical strike chance, so if you really want to go for a crit shotgun, it should be the Vagor Hack. Crit builds scale really well damage-wise into endgame if you're good at hitting headshots, because the critical multiplier will then be amplified by the headshot multiplier, which will result in a track ton of damage. I've tried running crit builds on shotguns that only have 10% critical strike chance and personally I find it far too unreliable. And I was much happier when I ran a raw damage build for these shotguns instead, which is the build I'm gonna show you next. However, this doesn't mean that you should never try this build on a shotgun that only has 10% critical strike chance, you should try it out and maybe you'll be really happy with the results. Especially if you have the primed version of the crit mods from Baraketeer. So we're gonna start off once again with point blank for more damage, health chamber for multi-shot and we're gonna use a cleanse mod and I know there's a lot of people that really don't like these cleanse mods but they do a lot of bloody damage, however they don't work against the corrupted, so against them you can use a utility mod like seeking fury. Then we're gonna use a physical damage mod like flechette or even the stronger version like for example here sweeping serration, depends on which one you have. And we're gonna follow it up with three elemental mods, once again for me most of the time it's gonna be charged shell and contagious spread for corrosive damage and incendiary code for heat damage and we're gonna top it off with blaze once again because it just adds way too much damage to not include it. This build is very reliable and the shotgun you put it on is always gonna do the same damage, however it doesn't scale as well into endgame as the crit build because it doesn't do as much headshot damage. This doesn't mean that shotguns that can only run the raw damage build are bad, in fact they are incredibly powerful and that's because shotguns do a mental amount of damage by default. And when you amplify it with all the different mods and you add elemental damage and elemental combos you're gonna see some impressive numbers from them. And as far as my recommendation for which shotgun you should put this build on, well you can put it on any shotgun and it's gonna perform well. But if the shotgun has more than 15% critical strike chance, I would recommend you try the crit build, and if it has more than 30% status chance, I would definitely recommend the status build, which is the final build I'm gonna show you today. So as with the other two builds, we're gonna start off with point blank for more damage and health chamber for multi-shot. We're gonna follow this up with Seeking Fury which is awesome for status builds because it adds punch through so the pellets will fly through enemies and hit other enemies so we can spread more status. Now if you want to run a status build on a shotgun you need 100% status chance so we're gonna follow this up by slapping on all four of the dual stat mods. I love status builds for shotguns and it's because every pellet can proc a different status proc so with one pull of the trigger you can stagger the enemy with an impact proc, make them bleed with a slash proc, reduce their damage by 30% with a puncture proc and then based on the elemental combo you have you can either confuse them with a radiation proc or reduce their health by half with a viral proc or if you're running the corrosive blast combo you can strip away their armor with a corrosive proc and knock them down with a blast proc. Now you should only run this build on shotguns that can reach 100% status chance with health chamber and dual stat mods, so shotguns that have at least 30% status chance. Because if you don't have 100% status chance on a shotgun, the chance of proccing status will be divided equally between each pellet, so overall if you have 80% status chance and you fire 10 pellets, you will only have 8% status chance on each pellet. But if you manage to push your status up to 100%, magically almost all pellets will start proccing status. So once again, you should only run this build on shotguns that have at least 30% status chance, which right now are Boar Prime and Strun Wraith. 
And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.